Woman was the victim of a hit and run. She continues her search for answers. In early April, Tanya Wright was driving her motorcycle home from Bible study when a car pulled out in front of her, hit her, then left her in the middle of the roadway. Molly McBride tells us where that investigation stands. Tanya Wright says as more time passes since the hit and run, she started to lose hope of ever finding the person who did this. She tells me finding that person would give her the peace and closure she needs to continue her healing journey. I don't know why somebody would do that, you know, to actually leave somebody and not like they could have actually helped me get off the side of the road. Wright served in the Navy for 14 years. She tells me before the accident, she enjoyed riding horses and running triathlons. Now, after losing her kneecap in the accident, she says she's lost her independence completely. She's currently recovering in Florida with her family, while back in Charleston, her second family continues the search for the person who hit her. She's my daughter from Florida that I'm, I stepped in when her mom's in Florida. She, I'm, where her parents up here. Doreen Schick and her husband have put up a $5,000 reward, hoping somebody will reach out to them with information. Monk's Corner police say the crash occurred when a car pulled out in front of Wright while she was traveling along Highway 52. The car lost its bumper in the crash, which police say they took to a dealership to determine it was likely a white 2009-2012 Buick LaCrosse. Police officials say they followed up on a few tips over the past month, but don't have any fresh leads. Monk's Corner police say this investigation is ongoing. Anyone with any information is asked to contact the department. We have that phone number under this web story at live5news.com. In the newsroom, Molly McBride, Live 5 News.